What is going on guys? It is your boy Jamek back with a brand new video, but this is more than just a video. Today I am finally starting my own Call of Duty League and we have 16 teams that are ready to go coming up for Cold War and those teams, um, I'll get to them in a minute. Eventually I'll go down as you can see at the bottom, they're all green lit in terms of they're ready to go. Um, they don't all have complete rosters yet, so uh, bear with me. I know there's a few that still, some rosters haven't been announced. Um, and some just haven't gotten back to me, but I believe all 16 of the teams they have confirmed their spot They're ready to go which I'm excited about and hopefully all of you teams that are watching this um, In terms of the league meeting as far as it goes concerned I, I decided to do a video um, based on my feedback most of it was either hey do whatever works And there was also some that said hey the video presentation idea would work best because it, it took me too long sadly to realize that it would be very very hard to get 16 different team representatives into one discord call and <laughs> at the same time having to do uh, go through different time zones that sort of thing and I guess I will say uh, it sounds like I'm in an empty room that's because I am um, I basically have a setup in my room I'm waiting for flooring to come in and hopefully that'll happen in the next couple days and I can fill this room with whatever I need to fill it with but uh, enough of that anyway I first of all again want to say thank you to all of the league members who uh, have wanted to commit to this league. I'm hoping you all stay even after this meeting. Um, and my goal is for it to be as player friendly as humanly possible. Um, I want you you all, all 16 of you to make the decisions and hopefully we can all work together and make this thing great. Um, ultimately my goal is to try and not mirror the CDL um, in terms of how their league is set up, but mirror it in terms of production value, it's gonna take a lot of learning on my part to learn how to do a lot of things on my own just because I'm not made of money and I don't really wanna pay graphics teams to make a bunch of graphics. Um, and I, I also wanna say thank you for your cooperation, your quick responses. I really, really do appreciate it. This has been crazy to try and get teams because I've had numerous already either not respond back to me after they say, hey, I'm interested. I give them a list of, of this, this is what I need, this is what I uh, would like to have to start. Um, and usually it, it, I might not hear back from him. I'll try and reply the whole nine yards. I just appreciate the quick responses for one. Um, and again, I want to thank you all for wanting to do this. Um, I'm personally excited. Uh, I know my playing career is out the window. I realized I was not good enough to play in, in this sort of thing. So uh, getting to still be involved with esports, which I'm extremely passionate about, especially Call of Duty esports, is huge for me. Um, even though I have my day job, this is kind of my enjoy, I guess, enjoyment, if, if you will, a thing I uh, look forward to, um, even while I'm at work. So, but, uh, let's get to it. So initially I'm going to go over through my hypothetical situation, um, and I'll probably be typing in my keyboard. So that might be something you hear through the mic, um, in time, but clicking to that as well. Um, uh, anyway. The goal of what I initially was thinking of was 32 matches, um, four matches a week for the next, for eight weeks in a row. Um, those, ultimately, you can play that whenever you want, um, as long as they're not being casted. Uh, and my plan was to cast try and or two matches per week. Um, and I was hoping Monday through Thursday to get two matches, Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night. But ultimately, I know it's not gonna work out like that. I know that everyone's got lives, everyone's got jobs. I have a, I have a life, I have a job. Um, and everyone's got, Everything, anything to do, school, whatever the, whatever it is. So hopefully we can all work together, get our schedules intact. Cause, um, but ultimately the plan is if they're casted, um, I will work with both teams hopefully to get get a match set up on a certain day, whatever the case may be. Um, and my goal through the, in the first week especially is I'm going to set up the schedule to where each team gets casted match, so everyone gets the spotlight, quote unquote. Um, that'll probably be the way it is for the first couple weeks, possibly, hopefully. Um, and then as the, the records start to pan out um, and the little more, I guess, marquee matchups, both top, bottom, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get everyone equally uh, casted. And it's also going to depend on who's available, when they're available. So we'll, we'll get to that eventually and that'll work itself out in time. Um, and when I do get uh, the conferences set up, which we'll talk about that later, um, the goal is to... Um, the cast of matches, you'll work with me to schedule your match. But if, say, you have a week where none of your matches get casted, say it's like week six or whatever the case it might be, and say four matches or three matches, and we'll get to that too. Um, however many that's going to go on that week, 
gets gets played. None of your heroes are casted. You can then work with the teams that you're supposed to play and be like, hey, when are you guys available? My guys are available here. Um, whole nine yards. So then you work together with that team to get a time set up and to play. I could care less when it's played. I could care less if you played all of your matches on the Monday at the beginning of the week. Or you played them Sunday night and midnight. I don't care. As long as by the Monday of the following week, um, as list, it's listed here, non-casting matches can be played anytime between Monday to Sunday. As long as they're played and they get done and I get proof of the matches have been completed, great. I'm happy. Okay. Hopefully then those stats, um, I preferably want it to be done earlier. So over the weekends, I can put in stats, uh, try and make graphics as quick as possible, the whole nine yards. Um, if neither team could play, uh, I mean, we could push it to a further week, further date. It just has to be a reason where, hey, nobody's been able to meet. We don't have any time to meet or do anything this week. Everyone's busy. Someone's out. I get it. Everyone's got lives. Again, I'm trying to be as player friendly as possible. Um, but I guess back to the matches. I know I've gotten comments from people both inside and outside the league for the most part. Um, I had a couple of comments on Twitter that were saying uh, it's not, it doesn't look like it's worth it, which I can see that um, for the prize pool. We'll, we'll get to that. Um, ultimately, I can, I'm okay going down to 16, 24 matches, whatever you all decide. If you want to do six, if you, if you, the players want to do 16 matches, go right ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Now, and honestly, that's less work for me. That's less work that I have to do, which I'm not going to be mad about. Sure, I'm still going to try and do two or eight matches per week. So then, technically, if you have 16 matches, half of those are casted, which is great for you guys because you get a lot of exposure um, in that regard. So if you guys want to drive it down to 16 matches, let me know. 24, 20, whatever the case might be. Hopefully, it's an even number. Um, preferably, that would be great. Okay. So, whoa. Okay, that's... Let's go, let's go part three here. Um, the tournament format, and this is basically how it's going to go down. Um, I have not decided conference-wise what, what's going to be the perk for conference, and I'll talk about that later. Um, but in terms of this, again, an eight-week format, uh, two, three, four matches, depends on how many uh, matches or you guys want to play um, over, over that eight-week span. And the Price pool is a total of $500, so it's going to be $25 from each team, which rounds it up to $400. I'm putting in $100 myself to give it more, I guess, value. Um, I'm not one to want to take anybody's money. I, I feel like it's kind of cheap um, when teams will say, hey, put in, you put in, a, I don't know, $420, and then the price pool is only $400. It's like you're putting your money into it. It's, it's something. that You're investing in it. You should have a chance to get a return on it. But ultimately, the tournament at the end of the year, that is kind of the, the uh, maker, the, the regular season, if you will. That's only to, or, uh, to set up kind of the tournament and how, how it's going to go. So realistically, the regular season, you're just playing for seedings. I haven't determined if, say, the top two conference teams maybe win some money. I'm already planning on putting a little more money on the table um, than that for the prize pool. So, But anyway, top eight teams, they will come back with prize money. Um, and that's going to be at least their buy-in. So basically you break even, which I think is, is fair. Uh, top six, you'll win about $10 more. Uh, and then fourth takes 50, third takes 75, second takes 100, and then uh, first takes 150. So uh, some of you guys I mean, are going to make some nice cash uh, real quick in, in, in a couple months. And among the other leagues, because I know you're all going to be involved in different leagues um, along with them, this one. So you'll play a match just to play. And you might even see some of the same teams that are in here in the other leagues. So that's that in terms of that. Um, and that's going to be some double elimination, 16-team uh, bracket. I would love to personally try and stream as much of that as humanly possible. Um, hopefully, it, I can, it can be done on a weekend or I can find time to take off. Um, and we can get it going. Um, and I can stream basically all day. Uh, covering the matches and then we can we can figure that out as time gets closer but as for now that would be my goal um, or it's something that say they can be recorded matches like you guys can go record them um, and then I can almost like cast over it uh, after it's been recorded uh, well no I guess that technically wouldn't work but never mind anyway we'll figure it out later now with the rule set which I know is extremely important so 
we can, as a league, decide to use the CDO rule set, which I've heard that is something we should do, which I'm okay with. That would uh, back up the start date of the league, um, and which is fine with me uh, because then we got a rule set. Or we can create a rule set which would be based off of, say, what the CDL did last year um, because we all know how Hardpoint uh, works, how S&D works, how Control worked in uh, the CWL and Black Ops 4. So... I mean, we can basically take those same premises and throw them in there. Now, the replay rules in terms of uh, player disconnects, in my opinion, again, you guys can comment concerns, thoughts on it, whole nine yards. Everything here is negotiable, as I already said. I want this to be a player, extremely player-friendly league. Um, I have my thoughts and opinions, but I get it. I'm not the one playing. I'm just running the darn thing. So, Hardpoint, I was not a fan of what the CDL did towards the end of last year, how many times they screwed over the Seattle Surge um, with with that. But I, I think this is a little more fair to, towards the, the winning team. Um, if the winning team reaches 200 points and the losing team is, in, is within one full hill, one full rotation, so I there is a full replay. Um, but if the team isn't... I guess at, at within one full rotation and they reach 200 points, I mean, that's it. it you, you, the winning team wins because I think that's fair. Like if it's 200 to 139, okay, um, the, the winning team ultimately I think wins. I think they deserve to win at that point. They've reached 200 points. I didn't like the 150 that the CDL did, but um, I think 200 is a little more fair because to the losing team, if it's 150, like you still have 100 points that they have to get. That's a one and a half rotate or a, that's – one and a half uh, hills, complete hills. And you can always come back because there's always time for comebacks. But um, I mean, there's always time for comebacks even when it's like 200 to 100. But I think it's fair. You only need 50 points. I mean, in my opinion, I think they should get the win. Now, this is also going to depend on whether there is dedicated servers because I've heard that the in the Modern Warfare uh, dedicated servers, the you aren't, I guess, allowed to lag out. Or I heard that you couldn't lag out of those uh, servers to where you had to basically pull your uh, power cord out and to be booted off. Um, but we also don't know if uh, Cold War is going to have dedicated servers. I figure they would. I figure they take the um, that aspect from Modern Warfare and make it better as usual because I'm expecting Treyarch to do great things for this league. Um, or I guess competitive this uh, this coming year. But if there are dedicated servers that would be the plan um if a team reaches 200 and they're within and they're ahead by more than one rotation they will technically win the game if someone lags out or we can decide to play the thing out in a 4v or a 4v3 whatever the case might be okay search and destroy the round's going to be played out um this one i think is pretty self-explanatory you play out the round so say it's 5-4 um and the 3v4 team somehow wins okay or 5 or 4v3 and the losing team wins the round they make it five five the rounds ended and then basically you bring the player back in and you start it up it the score obviously says zero zero but it's five five maybe uh Treyarch will add in something where you can set up different scenarios so that would make our lives easier um control the round is i think going to be played out um unless the player can join back in obviously that's still an option if the player is able to connect join the correct team whole nine yards um the round will be played out though if it's even if it's the beginning I think if it's fair, you just got to play it out, stick it out, because um, there's no really good way to stop, like, control. Um, you don't have a point value. It's basically round by round, kills, kill by kills. So um, if there's no dedicated servers, um, there will be a home and away team. There'll probably be a home and away team system, um, ultimately, because there'll be hosts, quote-unquote, that get advantages. Um, if a player lags out, uh, full replay, if it's done by the host team, okay, again, the host team hosts maps 1, 4, and 5, and the away team, they host maps 2 and 3. If it happens a second time, a different player on the host team needs to host um, just to have a complete change up with it. And then if it happens a third time, um, the other, other team, I believe, deserves the host because then there's some kind of connection issue. Um, there and I'm hoping that doesn't happen. I'm hoping the dedicated servers or something like this doesn't happen. Um, in terms of the map pool veto system, um, we could do a map pool is chosen by me. I'll just create random map pools um, for specific matches. So like match, say match one of 
for each team, you'll have the same exact map pool. And match two will have the same exact map pool. We can either do that or use the CDL map pool uh, map veto process, which I was looking at earlier today. Looks pretty, pretty, pretty good. Um, pretty basic because uh, I never really understood how it worked and I finally decided to look it up and well, it was super easy to do apparently. So that's that. Um, and as we go down, so match results, um, my goal, which is probably gonna be my favorite part, uh, dealing with all the statistics um, of all of these uh, league matches, putting them together, uh, coming out with graphics, that sort of thing, I'm, I'm a big math nerd. So I enjoy statistics, I enjoy my Excel spreadsheets as you have here. Um, but ultimately, match proof is going to have to be submitted through Twitter, Discord, however you want to do it. Um, as long as it gets to me with, with scores, great. Um, if you all, if I'd love to do even more advanced stats, so I, I'm hoping to have, say, a, a mediator. Hopefully, someone from each team can have, like, say, an org owner or... Uh, someone from each team that's more or less looking for cheating um, can back up cheating, is able to post match results because I know the community can get pretty toxic. Um, and I, I don't want to have any foul play here. Um, in, in terms of cheating, uh, ultimately, I'm going to make the final decision on that. Um, if you give me enough evidence and to prove that the other team's cheating or prove that you weren't cheating as the other team tries to accuse you, um, I will pick your team to win. The other team's got to forfeit, say the map or whatever the case it might be. Probably the map, more than likely, unless it's something severe. Um, but I'm hoping that nobody tries to cheat. There's no point. It's it's just a scumbag move, period. Um, I get if it's completely on accident and that sucks because um, I've, I've known that that can happen. Everybody has accidents. But if you're deliberately cheating, that's just a scumbag move, period. Um, but a couple other topics. Um, my plan as well is to have an MVP. Um, of the league that would be announced uh, either at the end of the regular season and the tournament. Um, that MVP gets a smack $20, um, $20 bill basically um, for them. Um, and that would be voted on by the players. And I would also get a vote or break ties, whatever the case might be. I also want to do an all star series. Um, and it would depend on how many players uh, we'd all decide. So it could be a 4v4 or it could be eight players one from each team or it could just be the best eight players in the league um 80 bucks for the winning team so depending how many players it would be 20 per player or 10 per player whoever or if there are eight teams um and we can go over that eventually that would be voted by the players i would have no say whatsoever um other topic that like i mentioned earlier the conference i do want to do conferences and because the fact that there's going to be teams in the east coast west coast um, north, south, midwest, who, who, who knows where they're going to be. Um, this, I'm going to need help from you all as well. If I could have, say, an, I guess, org, org origination, a state um, of where, say, your host is going to be uh, if, if we end up host or if someone ends up hosting or where the org is out of, say, the org is out of California. Um, California, that's really all I would need. Just tell me, hey, we're, we're our org state, California, whatever the case might be, or for me, um, I'm out of Ohio, so Ohio would be fine. And I'll set the conferences up by that, and then I can get really working on the schedules. Um, and uh, hopefully I could spit those out pretty quickly. Um, and then ultimately, and I'm trying to think, start date as well. I know I don't have that, I guess, on the topic list. Here, let me add it. Start date. Oh, that's nice. Anyway, start date. That's up to you guys. Now, we can wait until the CDL comes out with the rules, which I'm okay with as well. Um, and the earliest I would be willing to start would be November 23rd. I know I've told some of you that, so that's almost giving you a week to come up with that. Because I believe November 23rd is a Monday. So that would be this Monday right here. Um, the game comes out right here. So that would be the goal. The earliest start date would be November 23rd. Give you all a week to play. I know it's not much, but then hey, great! It creates a lot, uh, creates a lot of different strategies that can come out. Um, and everyone will be testing the game. I mean, you'll probably be playing plenty of it. I, I guarantee it. Um, I know I will. But that would be the earliest. But otherwise, we can wait until the CDO comes out with a rule set. Um, and that's going to depend a lot on you guys. Or if you all say, hey, do we we want to start by I don't know December first or whatever the case may be. Hey, we can do that too. Whatever works, I can find time. 
um, and I shouldn't have any kind of problems unless my life drastically changes within the next few months. I any start date works. So, and then what was the other? Oh yes, 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 yes. Last one, important. Um, payment. Okay, this is uh, something that I'm uh, not too worried about right now. Now, as we get closer, I'm gonna be a little more worried about. So, what is your preferred method of payment? Is it Cash App? Is it Venmo? Is it PayPal? Because I do, n I have a PayPal, but I don't have, oh wow, how did I screw that up? I don't have a Venmo, don't have a Cash App. So, basically, if, you all have a specific payment or somebody on the team has a specific, uh, uh, I guess, payment app, whatever the case might be. Um, let me know. And then whatever the consensus is, I'll download the app. And then uh, I'll send out the usernames or my username, whole nine yards. Um, and again, $25 buy-in. And then I think I'm probably going to put my 200 bucks in there um, as well to, I guess, have it be a holdover, placeholder. So until the leagues end of the year um there are a couple other things i know that i had mentioned um in a couple of messages to i guess league reps or whoever i was talking to on twitter um no more than a max of 10 players um that uh in terms of subs so you have your four starters you can have up to six subs um if you decide to drop a player um, that's the only way you can actually add a new player to your roster um, say there's, um, but otherwise you can't be switching in and out subs. Um, that's in terms of your starting lineup, I guess. I guess that technically doesn't matter, but unless you're going to add somebody, um, you have to drop somebody. Um, if anybody is seen playing and they're not on the roster, it's cheating. Again, I, I'm trying to make this as fair as possible. Um, what else? There was something else I was thinking of and I completely forget what it is. Doggone it. Anyway, um, again, I just want to say thank you. Ultimately, uh, very, I guess, 20 minutes-esque. Um, again, comments, concerns, if there's anything at all you have uh, in terms of topics as well. I have not mentioned any, any. Um, if there's any topics that I have left out that you guys find important, just let me know. We can chat about them. Um, and again, uh, Discord is probably going to be another way to uh, reach me as well, along with Twitter. Um, trying to think here. Crap, I forgot what I was going to say. Doggone it. I know it was involving something. But again, payment, I'm not worried about it now. Oh, yes. In terms of the payment, you must pay before the first match. And you are, once the first match has been played, you're, you're stuck. Um, if you decide to leave, you are not getting your money back because my opinion you've already said okay i'm gonna do this um this is gonna happen even if, even if you get done with your first match and you say oh shoot we got destroyed i don't want to do this anymore you're screwed i'm sorry i've been patient as and then your money's due by the first match um please preferably um but i mean again let me know payment option I wanted to get this all set up and make sure i had teams before to me i know money's a big Big topic um, in terms of where it goes, uh, how much I was more worried about getting all these teams together before I even worry about it. But again, the first match, and that's going to depend on you guys. If you guys have a certain date you want to start it, or do you want to wait for CDO rules? Hopefully, they come out sooner than later so we can get this rolling. But otherwise, I mean, that's that's the kind of end on that. Uh, let me go through the teams real quick. Um, the other thing is logos. There were a couple of logos I was trying to get from Twitter. Um, that you had sent me in the chat for some reason it came in as a small jpg and it for some reason didn't i guess i can't pull it up on my pc for some reason but um let's quickly go through i know there aren't all of the rosters here but again bear claw esports um and this is kind of i know this is going to be a lot more detailed um by the time I get the stats, get everything set up because I'm going to try and make this statistically as cracked as possible. So, technically that's gonna be control at this point. Um, we have Bearclaw Esports. Uh, I know that T-Mix here, down here, I know he's involved with he, or um, with another org in here. Um, at least I 
don't know what the team's going to be. Um, he has said they're, they were waiting a couple weeks to uh, let, let that information out. So I know they're involved with another org here, um, but I don't know if that's going to have to do with the same team. I have no clue who the players are and not a clue whatsoever. So that, I, as now, it's too mixed. So I'll leave it at that. Uh, we have Arrow Esports. They are in here. They have not given the roster yet, I don't think. I have to go back and look at Twitter. But they are in um, in the league. Uh, Hunted Down GG is also in the league, um, this are, which is nice. So some of these I wasn't able to get um, somehow. I pulled this off their Twitter. But Heathens Esports, they are in here as well. Um, Team Thorn, I was not able to get their uh, logo off of Twitter. Um, because it was a small JPG, so if you guys could hand that one, uh, try and send that one in some other file format, I would greatly appreciate it. If, if you need an email to contact me, um, I can hand that out too. The Gambling Gamers, I don't know if... Maybe I didn't put the roster on here. I don't think they gave me the roster yet, but they are going to have a logo. Whole nine yards, so they're going to be in here. I don't believe they have a Twitter account either. Verified Nation, they are on here as well. Um, they are another team that I've never heard of. Most of these teams I've not heard of uh, up to this point. Uh, Blood Chasers has two teams, Alpha and Bravo. So it'll be exciting to have two different teams. There are actually some uh, teams that mentioned doing one or two teams multi or multiple teams, but uh, ended up not doing that uh, in, in that case. Um, team Vidality, I don't know if I got the name. It might have been a typo, could have been a typo. Um, it seemed like a weird name to me, but um, validity, maybe that's what he was trying to say. I don't know, but hey, there's uh, they're here. They got a team, which is nice. Uh, I'm excited to see what they can do. A lot of these teams that don't have orgs, I'm excited to see what they can do, what they can throw together um, sort of thing. Uh, we've got Harsh Reality. Um, I will say up front, Harsh Reality or uh, Top Priority, depends. I actually know these guys in real life. If I didn't have to schedule, say, a match or if I didn't have to cast matches I would be playing because why not um, so there's that there's also God's Gaming um, they have actually had two teams or they had two teams so you can ignore this this is their uh, black team who uh, they also well, they also have the second team but sadly they dropped out but again I'm excited to see what they do we've got Flair Esports they have their squad hanging out here and we got Phoenix Gaming as well they have not given me the roster yet and then Final Form, who has also recently joined, not giving me the roster yet. But those are the teams. Some of them have Twitters. If you want any Twitters, if any of them just reach out to me. Um, not all of them have Twitters. That's the whole nine or the whole nine yards. But again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, any topics, just holler, tweet me. Uh, the Discord again, if you want um, to be in the Discord, I created it for who, who whoever wanted to be in it. Um, and uh, you don't have to, obviously. I know there's a couple of people here that don't have Discord, but um, doesn't matter. Anyway, guys, hope you all did enjoy. I'm beyond excited, um, and I will hopefully get this out as soon as possible. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I will tell you guys later. Peace.